All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at log <coughs> y equals log base a of x. And in this case, I'm referring to a could be any constant. Could be 10, could be 5, could be whatever. Um, and we want to find the derivative of it. So we've worked a lot with, and, and generally in calculus, you see most often when you're talking about log functions, you see y equals natural log of x, which I believe I've mentioned that uh, is the same exact thing as log base e <coughs> x. Okay? So those are those are the same thing. It's just log base e is used so often that it's had its you know special name, natural log x. Okay, but it's still a logarithmic function, base e. So basically, we want to know what is the derivative of a logarithmic function for something that's not base e. Okay, so we know that the natural log is just one, the derivative of that's just one over x. Okay, so you know in the case that it is not base e, what would the derivative be? And the derivative just ends up being, it has its similarities to 1 over x, but the derivative ends up being, it's 1 over natural log of a times x. Okay? So you still see the 1 over x there, but we just have our natural log of a, which, you know, in the case that this was e, the natural log of x, ln of e is just 1, so it would still work out and, you know, apply to the natural log of x uh, thing there. But anyways, um, let's say you had something like this, y equals log base... Oh, let's say 7 of x, okay? So in this case, you know, the 7 is in the spot where the a is. The x in this case is just where the x is. So the derivative of this would just be 1 over, it would be natural log of a, which in this case is 7, natural log of 7, times, and the derivative of x would just, I'm not sorry, the derivative of x, you just put x where the x is, so it would just be x right there. So, you know, that derivative right there would be kind of simple and straightforward. Again, it, this one, just like the... The other basis with the exponential functions comes down to you got to have this memorized. Okay, if you don't have it memorized, you're probably out of luck. And knowing how to apply it isn't too difficult if you remember how to memorize it. If you have it memorized. Now let's say you had something like this: y is equal to log base three of say cosine x. Okay. So in this case, now we have the, the change here is it's not just x is the inner function, but it's still going to start off the same way. So it's going to be 1 over natural log of, well, remember it's 1 over natural log of a, in this case a is 3, times x in this case. So where I see x, I have actually cosine x. So I'm going to put cosine x right here. Okay? But now since it's not just x as this inner function, I have to use the chain rule, and I have to multiply times the derivative of the inner function. So the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Now, a common thing I see is sometimes people putting this, that on the bottom when actually you have to multiply this whole thing by negative sine x. Okay? So I would just put it right there, or you could even just put it on the top, because if you multiply those together, that sine x will go on the top. You know, in this case, I didn't have to worry about the chain rule because the derivative of x is just 1. So anyways, I end up getting equals, and then I'm going to put this negative sine x on top over natural log of 3 cosine x. And, you know, whether you want to simplify it or not is up to you, but I do notice that sine over cosine is equal to tangent. So I could write this as negative tangent x over natural log of 3. Um, that would be uh, acceptable. Uh, either way would be acceptable.